20 energizing brain breaks for kids. Here are some active brain breaks for kids that you can try out. 1. Swapsies. Have the participants stand behind a chair. Call out a character trait, like everyone with brown eyes. You then swap places with someone else who has the same characteristic. If you have nothing that matches, you stay put. Examples, everyone with trainers on. Everyone who is left-handed. Everyone who is wearing yellow. 2. Dance party. Put five or six different types of songs on Spotify, including a classic like Baby Shark or The Hamster Dance. Dim the lights if possible and have the kids dance to the tunes. Then, change the tunes and change the dance style. It's silly and fun. 3. Freeze dance. Similar to dance party except that when the music stops, students have to stay perfectly still until the music restarts. You can make this even more fun by trying to make the students smile. If they smile, they are out and have to sit down. 4. Keep it up. Students must keep a balloon from touching the floor. You can add multiple balloons. You can make it more competitive by having different balloons of two different colors and split people into teams. Whoever keeps the balloons up the longest or the team with the most balloons in the air with a timer of 60 seconds wins. 5. Simon says. This brain break for kids is an old favorite. You can also mix it up with martial arts moves, Fortnite dances, superhero moves, etc. 6. Animal movement. Move like different animals. It's fun for younger children. We use flamingo where you stand on one leg, crawl like a bear, stand like a meerkat, run like a cheetah, and walk like a penguin. 7. Find it fast. Find it fast is a scavenger hunt variation. Call an item out in the room and contempt to stand by it. For example, find a clock, find something with a face, find something smelly, find some money, find a phone, etc. 8. The fraud. Physical challenges can be excellent fun. We have one in the martial arts class called the frog where you squat like a frog, then lean forward so your head and feet are off the floor. These are all old yoga poses, so have a look through a booklet or website for some safe ideas. Other examples are grabbing your nose with your left hand and touching your knee with your right elbow. 9. Pizza delivery time. Give the students paper plates and tell them to hold the plates above their head on a flat hand. They then run around the room and try to keep the plate in their hand. You can make it more challenging by having other students try to knock others' plates off. There's usually a three-star jump penalty if your plate touches the floor. 10. Limbo. We use martial arts belts and the students take turns going underneath the belts. Fun music creates an awesome atmosphere here. 11. Human knot. Split the group of people and have everyone link hands under and over. That's making knots between everyone in the group. Have the other students try to untangle them and return everyone back into a circle. 12. Feather balance. This brain break for kids works well with gentle music, and you can use a balloon or a straw if you don't have a feather handy. 13. Stack them high. The students should have plastic cups and paper squares. The goal is to make a tower as high as possible, or it could be to make a triangle or even a pyramid. Relaxing Brain Breaks We talked about brain breaks for kids that are being used to energize the students. But they can also be used to calm and relax them. We're more familiar with the term mindfulness, but it's the same idea. These are brain breaks for kids that reduce stress and anxiety. 14. Meditation Meditation is a popular way to reduce anxiety. There are lots of great examples already pre-recorded on YouTube that you can follow along with. Below is a useful classroom meditation example. 15. Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscopes are fun ways to relax. They are mesmerizing, like a peaceful vortex that sucks you into them. Below is a great example of a visual online one you can use. 16 reading slash listening to a story. When I surveyed the members of our martial arts club about how their kids employ brain breaks at home, 
there was a clear winner among the families, listening to a story or reading a story. The feedback was that the process of daydreaming a little helps the kids to recharge. But it goes without saying that the story needs to be engaging. 17. Doodling. My personal favorite way to brain break as a kid was to doodle. Doodling gives your child a few minutes to draw anything they want. It can be calming for them, and it's a lot more fun if you have different types of pens or crayons available to use. Add some soft music, and you have a simple way to take some time to relax. 18. Coloring sheets. Coloring sheets are another way to relax the mind. There's lots of great coloring and pads available, but here are some links to public resources shared on the internet that are great examples. 19. Deep breathing. Deep breathing is an epic way to help your child slow down. It is a quick way to relieve anxiety so that they feel more ready for the next task ahead. Try this, put your hands on your tummy, breathe in through the nose, and feel your belly expand like a balloon. Hold it here, then slowly breathe out through the mouth while feeling your stomach get smaller. Repeat this 10 times. Use the following counts, breath in for 4 seconds, hold for 4 seconds, and breath out for 4 seconds. 20. Going outside. Go outside was the second most popular response from our parent survey about brain breaks for kids at home. Fresh air always feels nice. You can combine this with a treasure hunt, looking for different colored cars, types of birds, or even types of trees, if you're familiar with these. My personal favorite is using a mushroom spotting app on our phones and finding a mushroom or toadstool, then using the app to identify its name. This is surprisingly engaging for children. But a few safety rules about not touching them is important. It gives kids a change of scenery and helps revitalize the senses, providing a welcome break from their homework. How often should you introduce brain breaks? The key to brain breaks is their timing. If you can introduce them before you notice that your kids are entering deep fatigue or their loss of focus has set in, you'll find a great balance between breaks and effort. I've observed from my martial arts coaching that younger students have a smaller amount of working memory than older kids. My formula is for five minutes of technical training, we provide five minutes of brain breaks for students under seven years old. Plus, we coach to 15 minutes of training to 5 minutes of brain breaks for children under 12 years. Implementing calming brain breaks for kids is a really efficient way of introducing brain breaks. You have a quick way to allow your students to learn about regulating themselves. Balancing their mind and energy is a useful skill, and you can take this with you everywhere you go. Our martial arts center revolutionized our approach to coaching by using brain breaks for kids. We found that although we were teaching less technical skills, there was now consistent progress from the students. Plus, everyone was less anxious, happier, and are having more fun. This is a win overall. If you've been having challenges with your kids focusing at home, maybe try a mixture of the calming and active breaks to see which types work best for your kids.